you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Who's ready? I'm ready. Woo! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. How are you doing today? I am doing great. I'm ready to tackle another balloon garland and I am excited to share this one with you. We are diving into darker colors today with pop of gold and it's going to be super, super pretty. Also, you guys, many more balloon garlands, many more colors are coming. Uh, your way soon. I'm still waiting on a few balloon packages to come in, arrive at my house. They're somewhere taking way too long to arrive, but I'm still waiting patiently. Hopefully soon they will be here. I'll be sharing everything with you. You guys, if you want to see what is happening today, then stay tuned and let's go. Here are most of my supplies that I'm planning to use for this balloon garland. I am using lots of black today. I want to make my balloon garland more black than anything else. Here is 12 inch balloons, 36, 18 inch balloons, and I want to have uh, pops of gold. These are plain gold 12 inch balloons and gold confetti balloons as well. I am using my balloon tying tool to prevent my fingers to have blisters after tying so many balloons. And this thing is super handy, love it. I will list everything in the description down below. I am using 10 pound fishing line to construct this whole thing and low temperature glue gun to attach any other balloons that I need to attach and fill in spaces on my balloon garland. I am using my electric balloon pump, love this thing, time saver, love it. I am starting with my black balloons. I will be pairing them together uh, and mixing sizes up. So 18 with 12, 18 with 36, 36 with 12, 36 with 18. You got the idea. And then with my gold balloons, I am leaving them aside for now. And then I will be blowing them individually and tying them individually because I want to place them strategically in spots that I want them to be. As I said in my previous videos, it's a good idea to have beautiful balloons, unusual balloons uh, put aside and then, as I said, strategically place them on your balloon garland for more effect in your balloon garlands. Headphones, music, let's go. Here are my two blown balloons at the same time, 18 inch and 36 inch. I'm taking them and I'm tying them together to form a pair. to construct my balloon garland. I hope there's enough balloons for the size of my backdrop. If not, I can always blow more. As you can see, my gold balloons and confetti balloons are individually tied and they're not paired. I'm setting them aside to deal with them later. So today, you guys, I did switch my um, fishing line just for today. I want to try to use a 50 pound fishing line. Uh, that's the only bigger size fishing line that I have. So I'm using this one. I am starting with the biggest of balloon cluster that I have. It's my 18 and 36 inch balloons taking my fishing line. You guys, if you notice, I am stepping on my fishing line with my foot that will uh, help you with not tangling around uh, your balloons with your fishing line. So I'm taking my fishing line and tying a few knots around my balloon pair. Okay, hold 
feels good. Now we're taking a second cluster. I think I'm gonna go with the smaller one. Putting right on top of my first balloon cluster, taking my fishing line and wrapping my fishing line around one of the newer balloons once and then pushing my pair to my first pair. Again, wrapping around one of the balloons and pushing. That holds pretty nice. So now I do have this big balloon at the bottom so to avoid any uh, spaces between my big balloon and smaller balloon I'm going to wrap around my bigger balloon once and then push it then taking my third balloon or my next balloon cluster putting on top pushing it wrapping around the fishing line and push again around a different balloon wrap and push now to avoid any spaces and make my balloon garland tight I am taking fishing line and wrapping around totally different balloons at the bottom and pushing again I want to take my fishing line and wrap around my biggest balloon and then push so now it's very tight and nice looking balloon garland unfolding in front of our eyes. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. balloon 18 inch right here and as, as you can see uh, there is a space forming right here I need to close this space so I'm taking my fishing line and then wrapping around these balloons and then pushing again over bigger balloon push smaller balloon push and here you have it no Space. Uh, later on, I will probably take a smaller balloon and close the gap over here, but overall I am happy. I'm going to take a smaller cluster that I have already made. I'm going to place it right, right there to close the gap. Again, wrap and push. Wrap around bigger balloon and push a little bit. Wrap around second balloon in the smaller cluster and push bigger balloon and push or pull and here you have it uh, the balloon garland kind of starts to take this unusual shape that's what i like about that you can play around with your balloons and um, move them around to any side you want. your garland I uh, cut off a piece of fishing line 
look at my hands right now. They're so dirty. I don't know if you can catch it, but anyways, take your fishing line, uh, hold it in the palm of your hand, right here with your second hand, uh, catch a tail of it, wrap around one of the balloons, You're gonna create this loop over here and then feed this tail through this loop and then tie it. Again, wrap around the balloon, creating a loop, feed it through and then pull. And here you go. You're so ready to hang this balloon garland. To hang my balloon garland, I am using these safety pins that I have on my fabric. One, two, and there's a few more. I can't find it, but anyways, I'm going to take extra fishing line, uh, wrap it around my balloon garland, and go to these safety pins and tie my fishing line to them. And that's what's going to hold my balloon garland. To hang my balloon garland, I am using 10 pound fishing line. It will hold my balloon garland. Uh, in my previous video, you saw me struggling a little bit because uh, with my balloon garland, I was using a lot of artificial flowers and artificial flowers, they do weight and they just took the weight of the artificial flowers. They took my garland and down by ripping my 10 pound fishing line. Not ripping, but it was untying. So today I'm not using any artificial flowers. I am using my 10 pound fishing line. It will hold my balloon garland. And you guys, if you don't have a bedrock, use command hooks for your walls. They will hold your balloon garland 100%. I heard these command hooks, they don't damage any walls, so you'll be good to go. It's a good and a perfect time for me to play around with my balloon garland, keeping or choosing the right placement and right shape and maybe uh, twist a few balloons and kind of play around and see what's going to look best for this balloon garland. So after placing your garland on a wall backdrop, fix it and then fill in spaces with other balloons. To our confetti balloons. Some of my confettis are just kind of falling and they're loose. I want them to be all over the balloon. So I'm taking a piece of paper towel and you can take a piece of cloth as well and start rubbing just a little bit. Give it a shake so the balloon inside will get static and all the confettis will stick to the walls. For these balloons, I wish they had more confettis but this is this is it and here you have confetti all over your balloon keep doing that to the rest of your confetti balloons and we'll fill in spaces with them after we're done with this my low temperature glue gun and filling spaces and placing my balloons strategically where I want them to be. So pick a spot, insert a balloon and glue it. is what I have for you guys today. Very simple, nothing over the top, a little bit of gold pop of color, which I love. And yeah, I feel like this garland will fit your graduation parties or New Year or New Year's Eve 
parties as well. I know it's a little bit way too far for New Year's to think about New Year, but hey, why not? Every single balloon count and everything that I used on this balloon garland, I will list in the description under this video. Also, I did use 50 pound fishing line to construct this balloon garland. I want to try something thinner, maybe 15 or 20. 50 worked fine, but I don't know, wasn't giving me what I was looking for. Uh, and yeah, the tightness in the fishing line. So it worked out, but I wanna try a little bit thinner fishing line. All right, you guys, I will share a few pictures at the end of this video. All right, so here you have it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this color combo, about this whole thing happening on my backdrop. I'll be there to chat with you guys, and I'm curious to know what you think. Also, you guys, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Someone's mowing. Hello, again. Alrighty guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye!